Sounds different. All right, what up, mother truckers? It's your boy, Beat the Hero, back at you here. Out here with Justin and Ian William out here hitting the 2023 DeMarini Cali Gold SS USA. Got the senior bad action going on here. Big thanks to Eric Stone for making this impossible, sending this out to us so we could get a review in on it for you guys. Back out here at Legion Park in Columbia, Missouri, where it is 325 in the corner, 330 in the gap, and 350 in center. About 75 to 80 degree day here. Not really any wind to speak of. Hitting a mix of balls. There is a good bit of 52s in here, but there's also still a large amount of BB Rockets and yeah, Dudley Thunder ZN in Pro M's as well. The back featured in the video here is a 26.5. And just to note, these are available in 24 and a half all the way up to 27 and a half. The loading on these is advertised as being mid load. And did I feel like it swung true to weight as far as being a 26.5? Yeah, I felt like it felt like a 26. But I will say I was kind of surprised to see that it was a mid load because the whole time I swung this thing, I felt like an inload to me. I didn't really notice the mid load feel at all. And usually that I can spot that right away because I do not care for mid loads. So it's usually one of the first things I notice in a bat. And I didn't even realize this was a mid load until I saw Big Ben BP's video on this thing. So that is worth kind of worth noting there. It's a two piece like every other DeMarini is. It features the 4.1 composite handle. And this did a good job of being pretty stiff. Really the only flex worth mentioning was when you work down towards the very end of the bat. And even then, this 13 inch barrel did a good job of soaking up any kind of bad feedback you might get because I noticed right away, almost immediately, that it was going to be a fun one to swing just from the aspect of having an absolutely humongous sweet spot, like get some, uh, almost the size use. of the Continental 48 States. <laughs> it was just yeah, yeah, yeah. ridiculous just how big the sweet spot was on this thing. And the sound was also good, and it was exceptionally good when you struck a hard ball really well. This different composite handle combined with this barrel did a good job of giving good feedback as well. Just the right combo of yeah, stiff and soft, in my opinion. Dude, and while we're talking about the barrel, let's check out the compression tester here real quick. No senior standards don't have compression testing or anything like that. But I'm going to use this as a gauge just so we can kind of see where it stacks up against the other bats since we've kind of gotten that started. And going into this one, this one testing at 230. And it had about 150 swings on it when we got started. And seeing it at 230 did tell me that it could have stood to test a little bit lower from the jump. Based on what we've seen from the other seniors, I do like them to start around the 200 to 220 range. Just to know that I have, do have a good performer on my hands. Seems like they do really well when they start there. And after about 100 swings we got on this day, I will say that I was surprised to see it drop down to 185 on the tester. It definitely got noticeably better, and the sweet spot that was big got even bigger. But if I had to nitpick this thing, it's got one downfall. And I'm going to be honest and say that that's a fact that I felt like it could have performed better. The big sweet spot was a ton of fun to hit, like literally impossible to miss. Out of all these swings I took, I don't think I, I missed the barrel once. It was just ridiculous how easy it was to strike a ball. The swing weight was really smooth. The sweet spot was humongous. It was super easy to hit. I felt like I could have did whatever I wanted this thing with the downfall of just lacking in performance a little bit. It was like um, good U trip back good, but not quite like senior, you know, top tier good. Which, you know, I, I think this is going to be one of those bats that if you're the guy that just wants to work the ball around and hit with a little bit of pop, don't misunderstand me. We're hitting on a big baseball field here. We still snuck a couple out and we're hitting, you know, one or two hoppers to the fence, which is still going to be good for 300 feet nonetheless. But. When we're swinging these senior bats here, we're looking for stuff that clears the fence. I won't say with ease, but something that I don't have to hit and wonder about it. I know that it's going to go over. And this bat didn't hit any of those for any of us. So that's not to say it's an absolutely terrible performer. It just doesn't stand up to some of the other top performers in the game right now. But you take away needing to worry about the performance that much and think about how good this thing felt, how good it sounded, how easy it was to control. And like I said, I will harp on it again how big the sweet spot was on this thing and how easy it was to hit. This is still a good bat. If you're not looking to just hit a ball 10 miles, looking to work the ball around, looking to have a bat with a bigger sweet spot, if you do struggle with uh, consistently striking a ball, this is no question going to be your bat. This is one of the biggest sweet spots I've swung on a bat in a very long time, senior or not. So what it did like in performance, it made up with just being super easy to hit. So I did have a good time swinging this bat, even that considered, which is something that I might nitpick on a little bit at times, but for this one, I did make the exception. As we're finishing this one up, I do want to say thanks to William for coming out with his drone again. 
and doing some shots with this thing. I really enjoy adding the drone footage to the videos here. It just kind of makes for a nice little change of pace, change the eye a little bit. Uh, about the time you know you might start losing someone or losing interest in the video, you got the drone footage to kind of bring you back in. And he does a good job running this thing. So big thanks to William for the drone footage. Big thanks to William and Justin for both coming out and hitting with us. Really liking having them do the senior reviews with us. Big thanks to Eric for making this impossible for you guys. Big thanks to you guys for stopping in and checking it out. That's it for now. Swing hard in case you hit it. I'm going to let you check out the rest of the video here. BB here. I'll catch you next time.